Here we are. It's a workout. Look at this long hair. You see that? Yes, we're going to do that upper body workout. I got to put my hair up. You, you have to put your hair up too, unless it's short, right? How are you doing? I'm Cam Parker, your online personal trainer, and we are focused on fitting fitness into our life and carving happiness out of chaos, the chaos of life. That's why we're here. That's why I'm helping you. It's an upper body workout. I do co-video workout series that have been happening since the pandemic lockdowns in the spring of 2020. And they are in sequential order of, for the most part, upper body, lower body, and functional fitness. Because you want to put it all together. This is not about people that want to train for some big Olympic sport or something. This is about people who know they need to be lifting for just overall health and a improved sense of wellness. That's why we're here. So please hang out with me. I'm Cam Park. I have over 30 years of experience. I specialize in beginners and especially seniors. What's a senior? Well, everybody debates about that. Uh, I, I'm 56 and I got my AARP uh, letter when I was 50. I kept throwing it away. I'm still throwing it away. <laughs> Maybe that's not a good idea. I don't know. But um, then uh, at 60, but here's what I need to tell you. You can get very fit at any point in your life. Once you're over, I'd say maybe 80, if you've never ever worked out, it's very difficult to improve muscle tone. However, you can improve strength at any day of your life, uh, especially if you're consistent and committed the two to three times a week consistently. You don't do the hit or miss workout routine, right? It's part of your lifestyle. So I'm so glad you're here. No matter what's going on, we're gonna keep working out and keep taking care of each other and hugging ourselves during the workout because hugs are the most wanted item of 2021 okay so what's next it's upper body so we're gonna warm up today real quick go run get a towel I mean I just have a regular um, you know bath towel that you dry off with after a shower or a bath we're gonna use that right at the beginning of the workout so make sure you grab one two gallons of water hey Karen I'm so glad you're here two gallons of water um, which are uh, weigh eight pounds each. And if you have weights at home, twos, threes, fives, if you've been lifting, you might have something heavier than eight. And two cans from your pantry, right? So I've got two cans. I've been using this long enough now, I am kind of concerned. I don't know that I would ever open these and eat them, but I don't know, maybe they're fine. <laughs> So thank you, Michelle. I'm so glad you're here. Let's work out. It's a Monday. There's no better way to start your week than a workout with Cam Parker, certified personal trainer. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. Okay, here we go. Whether it's live or a recording, and this is live. That's right. We're going to pump our arms up. We've got two cans you can if you're like, I don't have any pantry food. Well, that's that you must be frozen food and fresh food. That's fine, but I don't know if you want to be lifting two steaks. You could. Pound a steak in each hand. Yeah, you could do it. It would work. But you can also do empty hands if you do have weights. Okay, we're going to switch to behind the head and straight up. If you do have weights, three pounds or less, please do not do this warm up with more than three pounds. It's not intended to be strenuous in any way. And that's how you can kind of gauge how it feels, right? Because if these cans feel strenuous, you need to set them down. All right, we're going to switch to uh, this little bicep warm-up. It's, it's Actually, this entire routine is designed to warm up the rotator cuff in the shoulders. And to reduce, the whole idea of a warm-up is to reduce your chance of injury. So never, ever skip your warm-up. Now, if you skip your cool-down, it may not injure you, but you might get so sore because you skipped your cool down that you don't want to do your next workout. And that would be sad. Or you might think you're injured because you're so sore. So always do your warm up and always do your cool down. So after that little bicep curl with a twist, we're doing this pour out movement. And again, the key here is to do the turn, the twist in the arm and lift the elbow. If you have had a minor injury or a severe injury, you may notice, hopefully you're recovered from all that, and uh, you may notice some tenderness in your shoulder when you do this. Personally, my shoulders are the healthiest they've been in years because I've been extremely consistent in these therapeutic movements th almost three times a week, sometimes a little more than that, every week, okay? 
It's about commitment to being consistent. Yes, yeah, so now we're taking that same idea of the pour out, but I'm extending my arms more. I'm not here now. I'm out here and coming down and turning the palms over where I go knuckle to knuckle. Knuckle to knuckle, baby. There you go. Right like that. Yes, back of the hands. Right? Hopefully this feels fine. Make sure as you're doing this, I'm checking in on my posture. I'm lifting my chest. I'm not overarching my back. I'm just keeping a neutral arch. Now I'm going to put out all the obstacles, right? And celebrate my commitment to my health and wellness. Yes! So I'm going to pour out all the obstacles, and there's a lot of them, because stress is an obstacle to health and wellness, but you've got to carve out your time to take care of you. And, of course, you can share this and invite family. Yes, yeah, say, hey, you need to carve out some happiness and some make some time to be even healthier, right? Yeah. Whoa. So we're going to pour out those obstacles and celebrate our increased and improved health. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Do it again. One more time. Celebrate our awesomeness. Yes. All right. Good. I love how that feels. Roll up my shoulders just a little bit. And then the last movement's right here. Right? We're going to just... This is a pure rotator cuff movement. This is where I usually burn just a little bit. Shouldn't be too intense. If it's very intense, you want to put it down. Just a few more. One, two, one more. Yes, three. Awesome. All right, keep those close by. Have your gallons of water. And we're going to jog in place because we still want to get our blood flowing. You can also march in place if you don't like to jog in place. Right, just jog kind of quick. Get some giddy up and you don't have a hitch up in your giddy up you just want to giddy up let's go All right i'm going to jog a little bit remember if you get buzzing or tingling it may not be painful but you should check into what are you doing because you shouldn't really have those type of sensations that could mean that your posture's not correct it could mean that you're over squeezing something you know like your weights or whatever equipment you're using if you get discomfort, pain, knife stabbing pain. That's bad. As we all know, stop what you're doing. Please seek the advice of a licensed healthcare professional. Boom. And hopefully that's not going to happen because that's the whole idea is to be here, be strong, and to enjoy the sweet suffering of success, which is the burning of your muscles or the intensity of your focus and concentration. But I really, really don't want you to get hurt. So please help me keep you safe. All right, all right, let's do standing stars. That's gonna be in our workout today. Standing star, my, you can see it's like a five point star right here, see? Okay, and then I, cause you're a star. You're the twinkle in your life, yes. Right here, so you see I'm, gonna, I'm twisting over and just lifting that leg up, lifting that leg up, lifting that leg up, right? My foot is pointed up towards the ceiling and it's my arms and my upper body that moves over. I'm not twisting my legs. Yes, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Now my arms are straight up. We're going to be doing this position a lot today. And here's the thing. Hopefully my arms are pretty straight up and back. So everybody has different range of motion and their shoulders. So just go to what is your range of motion with those straight arms and, and force it back to where it can be. Please don't go into the range where you think you might hurt yourself. And then we're going to kick up the front. Some people call these zombie kicks. I got my hand net socks on. I call them hugs for your feet. I'm very spoiled. I have lots of hugs for my feet. Yes, and we're just kicking up our legs straight the leg comes straight up off the hip don't do the you know what's that what's that thing they do the chorus line yeah it's not a chorus line movement boom 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 five more one two three four five and what would a warm-up be without a happy jack so raising your arms up touching overhead as you bring your foot up to the side and you're not going to try to lean too far away from the leg. You're going to actually try to lean towards it a tiny bit. And most important is your feet stay parallel to each other. 
Ready, let's do 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, excellent. Boom, 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 boom. I just wanna do a shout out to veterans. Thank you for your service. They're on my mind today. That's why I'm wearing my one of my, my Marine Corps Marathon shirt. Just if you have a veteran in your life, make sure you get a hold of them, ask them how they're doing, and just tell them you love them. Or, you know, if you're not in love with them, just tell them you like them, hey. But uh, virtual hugs, that's what I'm asking for. So, what is first? You need a chair and a towel, right? So, I'm gonna get my chair, nice sturdy wooden chair. Not gonna break down, not tippy, right? Not overly cushioned. So that wouldn't be terrible as long as the chair is strong. And then I have a towel. And what I'm gonna do, let me bring this down a little bit so I'm better in the frame. How are you today? Are you doing well? Please let me know in your comments that you're hanging in there, you're doing okay. You're gonna feel even, you're gonna feel great after this workout. Why? Because workouts create biochemicals in your brain that make you have less pain, make you feel more wellness, make you feel happier. Okay, so I have a towel and I'm gonna hold it kind of cross corner, right? And I'm putting my foot in the towel. I am going to change how I'm gripping it. Do you see how I'm not holding it like I have a flower? I'm holding it like um, I'm going to pull it, okay? So my leg creates a resistance, and this is a towel row. You know that we hinge row, which we're going to do next, like this. So it's the same movement, but way more intense because I'm controlling it, or you could make it totally easy on yourself, but I'm gonna make it hard on myself. And I'm gonna row five times, my chest is out. Very important, I'm gonna pull my elbows back like this, and my leg is creating resistance, and there you go, all right? We're gonna do five of these and then switch legs to give our hands a break, and so we get to, get to use the other leg. Okay, here we go, pulling, that's one. Remember, if you're just jumping in, you need to warm up. And two, that's very important. When it's live, don't just jump in and start. You have to do the shoulder warm up, everything. Three, I'm pulling really hard and I'm making my leg work against my arms. Four, and I'm working as I lower the leg too. It's, it's hard in both directions. One more, here I go, pulling hard, pulling hard. And five, good. Okay, other side, right? I'm letting my hands relax for a second, holding this towel. We're working on grip as well. Here we go. Pulling, one, I'm sitting up very tall. Now, if you have rubber bands at home, two resistance bands, then you don't need the towel and you don't need to bend your leg. Three, but I'm working out with people that may not have equipment. Four, and guess what? You've got equipment, you've got walls, you've got floors, you've got chairs. And, uh, yeah, all right, make it hard. And five. And if you're like me, I feel that in my hands a lot, but I'm just kind of ignoring that and focusing on my back muscles. Because I am pretty strong, and I'm probably a little stronger than my grip. Okay, so it, it's okay, however it works, just have good form, sit up tall. Next thing we are doing is a hinge row. Hinge is a foundational movement of fitness. And if you've been doing the co-videos with me, we're on co-video 124. It's being recorded on January 11th, 2021. That's right. Okay, so no telling when you're watching it. I hope you're doing these in order. Okay, so a hinge is I'm pushing my glutes back. Notice how it's not a squat. Squat would be down. So I'm pushing them back. As I push back, my knees come slightly forward and then I'll have the weights in my hands, and I'll row this way. So you're either gonna have cans or the weights, or if you have weights, the, the gallons of water, which weigh eight pounds each. And if you have more weight, great, use it. If you don't wanna use weight, that's okay, but I think you could at least use the cans. All right, so we're hinging forward, and we're going to do 15 hinge rows. All right, ready and you're gonna flare your elbows out a little bit. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep that good hand, shoulder up. Shoulders are back and pulled back. I think I'm on, we'll call that 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, don't worry too much if I skip a number or add a number. You'll be okay. It's a science, but it's not an exact science. All right, the next thing we're doing is, uh, you know how we do things like wall sits and things like that? Well, and we just hold a position like plank. Well, this is holding a position to correct posture. I've been doing some research because I was looking into some people get a little bump or they a little roundness right here and there becomes a fat deposit right there at the, at the base, a little bit below the base of your spine. So I did some research on how to correct it, that fat deposit according to that source, which I'll make sure I find that and give you that video, is um, that it deposits fat right there because your posture is not good, right? And it's trying to cushion the vertebrae. So we're standing tall and we're just gonna come up into the I position. This is the I position. We use this for IYTs. We do this with downward dogs sometimes. We'll put straight up arms. So we're just holding it straight up. And what you're doing right now is pulling your shoulder blades together and we're holding it. So just stand there and hold this or be seated in your chair. We're gonna hold it for 15 more seconds, right? Now you might feel pressure start building up in your neck, so lower your shoulders. Even though your arms are up, your shoulders are down. Five more seconds and stop. Now we're gonna bring the elbows down like this. And this is the W position because you're wonderful. And I'm pulling my elbows back and pulling my palms, the back of my hands back, not too hard, and just holding this position. So we're going to hold it for 15 more seconds, right? So I could be seated. You'll notice I kind of wave around. I, I, I'm very, uh, some people would say hyper, hyper, yeah. Okay, a few more seconds and stop. Okay, ooh, I felt that one. Now, I'm gonna put my hands, my arms in an L position. L for love, L for love. And see right here like this, and I'm gonna pull these back. And I'm just gonna hold them there. Now this one I really like. This is an unusual positioning, haven't thought about this. You can, people do use this positioning, this movement for rotator cuff, but we're just holding 15 more seconds. And don't strain, just put pressure, uh, you know, holding the arms back in this L position and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Check in. Are your shoulders rising up? Don't let them rise up. Take a deep breath. And relax. Woo! I do feel that. I like that. Really approve of anything that's going to keep our posture upright and anything that will counteract lots of time on the couch, on your phone, online, screen time. You've got to start. It's okay if you're doing all that. That's your choice. However, you've got to check into your posture. Okay, so let's go back to the towel roll. So I have my towel. Yep. Oh, it's like you grab the towel, right? Okay, and I'm holding it cat wonky cornered, right? Getting a good grip. Here's my grip. See, like that versus don't do that. You're like this. You could do it with a yoga strap. If you do have a a, you know a rubber band or um, a resistance band you're not going to be you're not going to be bending your leg you would just put it over your foot like I'm doing with the towel and if you have a rubber band you just pull it but you're obviously your your legs just holding it it's not the resistance okay here we go it's five reps and then we'll switch and you're pulling and the leg is resisting and my elbows are down they're not flared out like the hinge row today that's one all right, both directions should feel tough. Again, I'm just kind of ignoring how it feels in my hands. In modern living, we don't work our grip too much unless you're doing a lot of landscaping. Here comes number three, pulling nice and slow. Slow in both directions, yes. Okay, here we go, number four. Pulling, resisting with that leg, staying upright, keeping the shoulders down. All right, one more. Oh, don't let drop those shoulders down. Chest is up. Yep, don't crank your chin, meaning don't crank it down and press it down. That's not good. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna do one more. There we go. Pull, 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 pull. 
pull it, starting to get the hang of it, and resisting on the way out. Okay, giving my hands a break, grabbing it again, switching to the other, probably if I would grab less towel, I'm grabbing a lot of towel, put less towel in my hand, the grip will do a little better. Okay, so here we go. All right, five times, pulling in, pulling in, and pushing out with the leg and resisting. That's one. These are slow reps. You are using your own strength to increase your strength. Yeah, the strength in your leg is helping you increase the strength in your arms. That's a good relationship. That was two. Pulling. Pushing out with that foot. Three. Pulling. Yes. And if you have a rubber band and you're already done, that rubber band might be too easy. That was four. All right, pull in, sitting up tall, shoulders are down. All right, really working, working hard, working hard. Ugh, I started to burn. Nice. And my forearms and my biceps. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so we're going to be in the hinge row position. Take a deep breath. I haven't stopped for water yet, and of course, I can tell, so have a sip of water. Okay, all right, here we go. Good hinge, a good hinge all by itself is a exercise, right? Kind of like plank, so I'm in my hinge position, and I'm gonna row 15 times, flaring the elbows out. Ready, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15. Excellent. Setting those down, bending my knees to do that. And now we're going into the static holds. We're going to go into the I position. So my shoulders are down, my chest is out, my arms are straight, and they're, I'm pushing them back. All right. And it doesn't matter too much your hand position. I would say that your palms towards me would be best. We're holding for 15 more seconds. If you start to feel it in your neck, attempt to drop your shoulders down. You can turn your head side to side to get the neck to release, but we are impacting those muscles. All right, holding, holding, and stop. Okay, roll those shoulders. We're coming into the W. So the W is here, all right? Elbows a little lower than the shoulders, pulling the elbows back. Now, when I pull my elbows back, I don't want to let my posture be funky. I want to keep my natural arch and keep my tummy a little firm. Pulling the shoulders back. We have 15 more seconds. Just holding it. Good, good. This is to correct the, the posture in the upper. Now, if your chin is down, that's not good. You want to lift it. Lift the chin and relax. Good. And I wanted to mention that because you do want to have the chin kind of up higher than you would for neutral while you're doing these. So now we're going to bring our arms into the L position. So you can see they're in the L position. Pull them back like this. Now don't, I know I am asking you just to squeeze, hold the shoulder blades together, but be alert if you get a cramp. All right? If you get a cramp, I suggest you flex your chest. The opposing muscle group helps relieve the cramp of the muscle that's having an issue. All right, we're gonna hold 15 more seconds. Very good, just standing here and focusing on our shoulders are down. That's one thing I have to focus on, five more seconds. And then we're keeping that pressure between our shoulder blades as we do this external rotation of the shoulder and relax. Woo, okay. So that was second round of that. We're gonna add something right here. 
because we need to let those muscles, which we just really impacted, recover. So what we're going to add is a jug swing, and I'm going to show a version of it that is without weight in a chair. Because this is an upper body, I specialize in beginners and seniors, and I'm just assuming that some folks that watch these might have really, they're just not that fit or strong yet, okay? Or they, and, and they need to stay safe. So I can put my empty hands over here, and I'm just leaning and turning my body. I'm working on the range of movement. My belly's tight, and I'm gonna keep my arms straight and raise my arms up, and then I hopefully turn my head and look at my thumbs, and then come down. I can relax my vision a little bit and bring it down. And that's really mimicking a jug swing without any weight while seated. And it has, it has tremendous benefit, okay? So another alternative would be to take the two cans, hold them together, and swing the cans like this. The key is the top part is you're very stretched, and here you're kind of slightly um, uh, crunching your abs, right? And then turn, okay? So that's, we're gonna do that movement, but for other people that have been doing the co-videos, we're gonna do what's called a jug swing, which is very similar, where we're standing with a jug, right? And we're gonna do the same idea. We're gonna bring it down low next to the knee, swing it up high over the shoulder. Okay, you ready? All right, we know what we're doing. 10 times, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, 10. Very good, switching sides. Make sure you keep your tummy tight, whether you're sitting in the chair and doing that swing or you're standing here. You have to tighten the belly very tight. Two, three, keep those arms straight, four, five, feet are spinning, they're loose, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, very good, all right, married to that, it's going to be the standing stars, our arms are out straight, you can also do this from the chair, I'm going to turn my body as I kick up my leg and touch my hand to my shin, or your toe if you're that limber, ready, go, one, two, three, four, five, we're going to 20, six, seven, eight, nine, squeeze your abs, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, bravo, you're a star, yes you are, all right, we gotta go back to the towel, that's good, because now my hands are recovered, and I still feel my back, but I can tell I'm ready to go. Okay, good. So grab my towel, right, like that. Grab in one of the other corners. Okay, putting it around my foot. And now I'm going to row and make it very hard on myself. Ready to go. There's one. All right, concentrate, make it harder. Slow in both directions. All right, yes. Two. Now you can tell if you're playing around with it how to make it harder or easier on yourself. Three. Keep your shoulders down. Down, pulled back. Four. And if you're sh short and the towel's long, just grab the towel further up. Five. Is that four? We'll call that four. I'm going to do one more. Here we go, uh, pull, 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 pull. I made it too easy on myself anyway. All right, one more. Straightening that leg out, resisting, resisting, yes. This comes from a book called Your, your Body is Your Gym. <laughs> I thought, and there were a few things in there I really liked. This is one of them, okay. I'm sitting up tall, pulling, switching legs. Here we go, pulling. Pushing the leg out while I'm resisting with my arms. One. Really concentrate. This is the last round with these. Make it work. 
two. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Feeling strong, feeling strong. That was three, two more, we got this, come on. You're creating the intensity. And four, slow in both directions. And almost there, almost there. Yes, five, oh, good job, good job. All right, hinge row, hinge row. All right, if you're someone that wants to remain seated, you can do this from a chair. You can do it with the cans, and like I said, no weight. But I, I do prefer, if you've been working out a while, start thinking about adding weight if you haven't been. Okay, eight pounds in each hand, hinge row, 15 reps, flaring out the elbows, ready, go. One, two, three, don't rush, four, slow on the way down, five, six, seven, eight, maintain your hinge positioning, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, one more, 15, very good, very good. Okay, come up into the I position. So I could do this from a chair, right? I, I'm just holding it. That's all I'm doing. I'm pulling my shoulders down and my shoulders back and straightening my arms and lifting my chin. I have to remember that part, lift your chin all right, lifting your chin. This is taking the pressure off the vertebrae. We have five more seconds. And down. So we're working on increasing range of movement and improving the posture right there above and between the shoulder blades. So we're coming into W right here. My elbows are lower than my shoulders. Pulling them back. Pulling my back of my palms, back of my hands back and holding it. All right, just being firm, all right, pulling. As you, you may notice, like with me, I can notice that I can get a little further in this position, which means my pec, my chest muscles are getting more loose, which is good. 10 more seconds, all right, we're holding this position. Breathe in deep, all right, and dropping those arms, okay. Pulling those shoulders a little bit, we're in the L, See the L position of our arms, and we're gonna open them up like this and just hold them back. Really like, I really like how this one feels. And I'm lifting my chin. Now don't, don't try to crush yourself. It's just firm, holding in the position. You're just going to your range of motion. Where can you go? You might notice that as you maintain the pressure, you go a little bit further. We're gonna do 10 more seconds. All right, pulling it back. Five more seconds. I have awesome posture. I'm working on my wonderful posture and relax. Good. Ooh, I made I made those muscles burn back there. Right. I shrug that off. Roll those shoulders around a little bit. Okay. We have jug swings or swings from the chair. Okay. I'm here. I got my jug, and. I don't know if you can see it, but when I turn, like if I'm turning the jug towards my right knee, my left heel is pivoting and coming up. So there's no pressure on my knees. Okay? Standing tall, good posture, ready, go. One. Okay, do not lean forward. Two, it's a little squat, a little twisting squat. Three. Four. Five, you have to hold your abs really tight. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, awesome. Other side, ready to go. One, two, swing it. Don't let go of that gallon. Three, you can do it with cans. Four, five, six, oh yeah, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Awesome. Okay, standing stars. Your arms are out, feet are wide, and we're turning the upper body towards the leg. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, don't kick anything, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, get those heels up, seven, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20. Oh, bravo, bravo, we just finished that first round. I know, it was a long round. A lot of instruction. Hopefully I'm really feeling that in the back. And as I've told people before, my pacing is for, I've told you many times, my pacing is for beginners and seniors. So as I'm explaining things, don't just jump into the exercise necessarily, but you could jog in place, you can march while I'm teaching. Okay, just keep moving, knowing about smartly. Smartly. Next is push-ups. Push-ups. Everyone knows, you've been hanging out in the Co video series, you know you can use a sturdy piece of furniture that will not slide, that's high up, the same or a little lower than your countertop in your kitchen. If you've not done push-ups, you don't think you can do them, pretend this is my kitchen and this is my countertop right here. And I'm going to lower my body to that countertop. And actually, this chair works pretty good. I hadn't thought about chair. The reason I don't normally pick a chair is because the chair can tip or, you know, and we don't want that. That countertop in your kitchen is not going to move. We're going to do 15 push-ups. 15. So what does that mean? Maybe you're going to try the floor today. And I don't uh, want you to necessarily do modified push-ups, but if you can do a few on your toes and then drop to your knees, that's fine. Otherwise, I do want you to think about, we talked about last time having two chairs, right? Not one chair, because a chair push-up is advanced when it's on the seat. But if you've got a really awesome chair and you can do this on it without that chair bending or collapsing or sliding, go for it. 15 push-ups, you ready? Well, it doesn't matter. Do them anyway, best you can. It's okay if you don't make it to 15. Ready. Do what you can well. And if you can't, hold plank. Ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes. Nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, one more, 15. Bravo, bravo, bravo. And I know you can do countertop push-ups. I just had a group of ladies who we did three sets of 20 of those countertop push-ups. Just make sure you keep your body form. Remember, push-up is a moving plank, okay? So, and we're about to find that out. We're gonna do a balance shoulder side raise. So I'm actually going to go to the cans. If I was using weights, I'd probably use fives. These are only one pound each. I'm going to balance on one leg. I'm just going to bring my arms up like this, slightly to the front of myself, practicing awesome posture. If you don't feel sturdy balancing, touch your toe down or just stay in, a, in what's called a power stance. That just means your knees are bent, you're upright, and your belly's tight. And you can do this from a chair if you want to. Ready, go. One, go in the t let's go to 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. So this is an exercise where me, personally, I need to create two jugs that have half the amount of water, or, or not quite half, probably a little more than half, to make five pounders, because I can tell I need a little more weight on this. But here we go. Uh, uh, we're switching legs, and what we're going to do now is we're going to do an alternating front raise. So the, the front, the hand will come up about chin level, right? And we're bouncing on the other leg. Yes. So here we go. We're going to alternate to alternate to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Switch your legs one more time. One more time. Now we're going to do both together going a little higher. So it looks like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Okay, so I want you to sit in the chair. We're going to bring on the edge of the chair. We're going to do an overhead press with that and I'm going to use the eight, right? And I'm putting them right here. This is called a front rack position. So you can do the exact same thing with the cans or if you have weights at home, whatever weights you feel are appropriate. We're going to press overhead for 10. That's it. Okay, so I'm seated and I'm good strong posture. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh yeah, seven, arms are up straight, pick that chin up, eight, nine, and ten. Yes, I am attempting to really impact the muscles of your upper back so that they are toned and strong and they help hold your shoulders back. And of course, with chest, we're trying to impact that so that you just, you feel good, you look good, and you're all that. Okay, so 45 seconds of plank. I am actually gonna do it in the chair because everyone can. If you're not sure you can, then use your countertop, your kitchen countertop. Okay, ready? Everybody get ready, lock into a strong plank and we're holding. And the clock is going. So I like to spread my fingers out. I also like to think about pressing my toes down into the floor. Yes, and I pull my belly button in towards my spine and I squeeze my glutes. So my body is very tight and I'm breathing. I am not holding my breath. And we have 15 more seconds. So keep holding this position. You need to hold a strong plank in order to improve your push-ups. And we are done. Very good. Now we're gonna hold our arms in the air and we're gonna do zombie kicks. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Go in the 20. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Abs are tight, 19 and 20. As you go, you might loosen those abs, keep them tight. I'm gonna have a sip of water and we are going to do all of that again, but without the explanation. So pick your push-up. Where are you gonna do your push-ups? Get there, 15. Okay, get ready. All right, you're ready. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep going. Ten. Do the most you can or hold plank. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fantastic. The next exercise we're going to do is actually the seated shoulder press. So you're seated, you might grab the cans, you might have no weight. I'm gonna use the eight pound gallons right here. We're gonna do 10, take a deep breath. Overhead presses, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, good posture, chin is up. Eight, nine, looking up. Ten, woo, yes, that worked. I got a good burn from that, which means I'm tapping into the reserve muscle fibers. Now you can remain seated or you're balancing on one foot and we're doing a side raise for 12. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh yeah, this is working, 10, 11, and 12. Uh, we're gonna switch feet, and remember you don't have to add the balance component. We're alternating to a high front raise, and this is the only one we're gonna do. Here we go. One, we're going to 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, excellent, eight, keep bouncing, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Very good. Getting ready for plank. Are you ready? You ready? Plank, you gotta have a good plank to be able to do a good push up, right? To protect your back. So I'm gonna do it in the chair again. Hands on the seat of my chair, in the plank, and we're holding. Holding it. Yes, we are. And I'm pulling my belly button in towards my spine. I have my fingers spread apart. You can do plank on things like push-up handles or dumbbells. My, my arms are locked. And my glutes are tight. And I am pressing my toes into the ground, focusing on the intensity of the plank with 10 more seconds to go. Holding, and I'm breathing, and I have five seconds. Three, two, one. Very good, yay, yay. Arms are up straight, take a deep breath. <sighs> I'm strong. Arms are up straight, kicking to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, kicking up my heels. 10, 11, 12, 13. Hold my abs tight. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Bravo. One more round, and we are done with this upper body workout to improve your posture. Yes, push ups. Push ups. Get a sip of water quick if you need it. Where are you going to do your push ups? Mm. All right, here we go. And we're moving. One, two, three, four. Feel like I'm in the Marine Corps. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Keep going. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Fantastic. Make sure you put in the comments how many how you're doing with your push-ups. Let me know. And just so you know, in the Marine Corps, it would be Sir 1, Sir, Sir 2, Sir. It would go like that. Okay. We're sitting in the chair. Woo! Feeling it. Feeling it. Grabbing my overhead press weights or just pressing empty-handed. Putting the weights here. Concentrating. And go. One. Ten reps. Two, three, four, five, chin is up, looking up, six, seven, eight, oh yeah, all the way up, nine, control it, one more, ten, oh, I love that, that felt very effective, that's the word I'm going to use, stay seated if you like, side raise, I'm going to add the balance component to that. Balanced on one leg, ready, go. One, slightly forward of the body. Two, we're going to 12. Three, four, five, I'm balanced. The standing knee is soft. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Notice I'm linking these together, which increase the impact and effectiveness of the exercise. Switch legs. And we're going all the way up, alternating. One, two, going to 12. Three, four, chest is out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, stay focused. 10, 11 and 12. Excellent. 
Where are you going to do plank? You're going to do it on the floor? Going to do it on the chair? How about your kitchen counter? Ready? 45 seconds. Go. Holding plank. This will assist in improving push-ups, plus strengthening the shoulders. And we're holding it. Fingers are spread. My glutes are tight. My belly button is pulled in towards my spine. If I'm over 65, I might pick up my butt a little bit. But is it way up already? Do you want to drop it down? 15 seconds. Now I'm really concentrating on pressing my toes into the floor, pressing my hands into the chair. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, let's finish this workout with a kick up of our heels. Kicking up our heels, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, go, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, and you're amazing. Celebrate your workout. You just did it. I did that, I did that, I did that, I did that. I did that. Yes, 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 yes. One more down. One more workout down. Millions to go. Yes, yes. Very good, very good. Let's stretch. Bringing this arm across our shoulders, across our chest. Wow, that was good, what a finish. Yes, as you notice, once I've done the instruction, instructions, the pace kicks up. And I really want you to share this with your family and friends, try to explain to them that they just need to hang in there. If they're not feeling it, to just watch and sit and then join in as they regain their composure to do it. I'm not afraid for people to sit on the couch and watch me. I hope I invite you to get off the couch and do this with me. You will feel so good. And the only way you can get there is to go there. Right? Switch inside. Switch inside. Good. Holding it. Taking a deep breath. So proud of you. Paige, I hope you liked it. Yes. I'm, I'm looking for Bill. Looking for Joe. Looking for Randy. How's Warren doing? Ask him for me. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so that is stretching the shoulder blades. We're going to put our hands behind our back, lace together. Or this would be a good time if you can't lace your hands together to grab that towel, right? And use the towel to hold your hands together back here and pull these shoulders back. All right. Had a lot of adjustments today in my spine. I can feel it. Holding it back. All right, we're gonna go wide with our feet or we may be seated in the chair and we're gonna reach, reach, reach. This is one of my favorite stretches for the upper body because we're, trying, we're elongating. A lot of people just kind of relax their arm or something. You want to spread those fingers out, pull that arm this direction and feel it on the side of your body. All right, switch sides. Oh, oh, keep stretching. Oh, I'm glad you liked the workout, Karen. Oh, good. Okay, let's just do empty coat sleeves. We are almost done. As always, if you have more time in your life right now to take more time to cool down, stretch, that'd be awesome. If you can integrate one rejuvenating yoga session per week to your already fantastic cardio and working out routine, that will also have tremendous benefit to your body. All right, let's breathe together. Thank you so much for being here. I don't know if you truly know how much it means to me. It means the world to me. And when you share it and you invite other people, that means everything to me as well, because I feel like I can help people and at least guide them to get started and hopefully fit fitness into their lives. Okay, let's breathe together. Here we go, take a deep breath. Oh, we're just telling our body, workout's complete, ready for the rest of my day. Do that in, breathe in in love. <sighs> yeah, there you go. And breathing out love to the world, but especially love and respect into ourselves so that we can love the world even better. Here we go, do it again. <sighs> All right, thank you so much for being here. I love you, I truly do. I'll see you in a couple days.